Step Into the World of Mission Impossible, a classic TV series from 1966 that set the standard for spy dramas. Filled with clever storylines and exciting missions, the show kept viewers hooked. The Hollywood actors added charm to the screen who stood out as your favorite. Keep watching as we uncover interesting, surprising, and emotional facts about the series. Now we're eager to hear about your favorite memories or personal experiences with this timeless show. Share your stories in the comments below, we'd love to read them. And remember, there's always more to discover about Mission Impossible. Stay tuned for an exciting journey. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series a lasting symbol of the industry? Who was your preferred classic Hollywood actor in the show? Share your stories and memories below, we would love to hear from you. Growing up in the 60s and 70s, viewers can appreciate certain timeless gems and Mission Impossible stands out as one of those treasures. The show, captivating audiences with meticulously crafted plots, provided a thrilling escape, fueling dreams of participating in covert IMF missions. As children, we might not have fully grasped the intricacies of the carefully scripted narratives, but the fascination with the clever ploys employed by the IMF teams endured. At the heart of the show was the unforgettable theme by Lalo Skifrin, a piece of music that resonated across generations. High school bands have kept this theme in their repertoire, showcasing its lasting appeal. It's somewhat disheartening that the evolution of the IMF concept led to the Tom Cruise adaptations, which, while paying homage, may pale in comparison to the original. One of the notable aspects of the series was the prestige of its guest stars, actors not easily found in today's entertainment landscape. The current pursuit of actors with similar gravitas seems scarce, as they navigate a challenging industry where recognition may elude them, while others revel in opulent luxuries. Addressing the shift in the series' trajectory, the review touches upon a weariness with Tom Cruise and his pervasive public image, along with a nod to his involvement in a controversial organization. However, these sentiments do not overshadow the acknowledgement that the 1966 version of Mission Impossible remains, even today, one of the most engaging and intelligent programs ever produced. The recent DVD release offers a welcome journey back into the fascinating world of espionage and Cold War politics, building anticipation for the entire series to be made available. In conclusion, the review celebrates the enduring appeal of the 1966 version of Mission Impossible and its recent DVD release, emphasizing its continued relevance in classic television. Playing the role of Jim Phelps, he made a lasting impact on Mission Impossible in 1966. The European scenes featured checker cars, the preferred wheels of a Detroit company. Interestingly, during the fifth season, Sam Elliott filled in for Peter Lupus in some episodes. The series' timeless charm comes from its well-crafted plots and exciting IMF missions. Lalo Skifrin's unforgettable theme is loved by people of all ages, and it even makes its way into high school band repertoires. While the Tom Cruise adaptations pay tribute, the original stands out for its smart storytelling. A special mention goes to the prestigious guest stars in the 1966 version, which is rare in today's entertainment. The recent DVD release promises an exploration of espionage and Cold War politics, creating anticipation for the complete series. In conclusion, Mission Impossible remains one of the most captivating and intelligent shows. The recent DVD release highlights its continued relevance in classic television. When Mission Impossible returned to television in the late 1980s, Peter Graves was the sole original cast member to reprise his role. Notably, Stephen Hill departed after just one season due to two primary reasons. Firstly, as an Orthodox Jew, he was unwilling to work on the Sabbath, conflicting with the show's production schedule. Secondly, his disruptive behavior often led to filming shutdowns. A distinctive feature of the series was the use of rubber masks typically worn by the heroes. Interestingly, whenever such disguises made an appearance, it was almost always one of the protagonists behind the deceptive facade. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and unique elements contributed to the show's intrigue, making Mission Impossible a standout in the realm of classic television. Leonard Nimoy left the series because he wasn't happy with how his character Paris wasn't developing. Unlike his time on Star Trek, Mission Impossible had different challenges. When Martin Landau passed away in 2017, the title of the oldest living cast member went to his ex-wife, which adds a sad layer to the show's history. Greg Morris and Peter Lupus were the only consistent actors throughout the series. However, Lupus took a break during season five and Sam Elliott filled in for him in half of the episodes. 
The series faced challenges with actors leaving and the sad passing of Landau, but Morris and Lupus remained the constant figures. This information gives us a new perspective on the show and the difficulties the actors went through. The cast changed, but Morris and Lupus were always there. Martin Landau and his then-wife Barbara Bain left the show after season three due to a contract dispute over salary arising from budget reductions following DeZillu's acquisition by Gulf Western. Landau's passing, less than a month before the series' 50th anniversary, added a poignant layer to the show's history as he originally portrayed protagonist Dan Briggs. A noteworthy connection exists between Mission Impossible and Star Trek the original series. Many non-lead actors from Star Trek also appeared on the show, likely because both were filmed at DeZillu Studios and later Paramount Studios. Notable crossovers include George Teke, William Shatner, and Leonard Nimoy. Vic Perrin and Percy Rodriguez also featured, creating an interesting connection between the two TV series. This unique overlap in casting emphasizes the shared production history at DeZillu Studios, creating a seamless bridge between two classic TV series. The interconnectedness of actors adds a layer of interest for fans of both the show and Star Trek. In the vast world of classic television, the 1966 series left a lasting impact, blending seamlessly with other well-known shows of its time. Particularly, a familiar face seen in episodes across various series alongside William Shatner demonstrated the interconnected nature of that era's television. This actor, a constant presence in Mission Impossible, played a vital role, appearing in an impressive 166 out of 171 episodes. A notable element heightening suspense in each episode was the recurring phrase before the self-destruction of Mission Instructions. The line this tape will self-destruct in five seconds became a distinctive prelude, adding an extra layer of tension. Moreover, the discreet disposal of the tapes after receiving instructions by the protagonists involving incinerators or vats of acid presented a consistent and engaging ritual throughout the series. A unique twist occurred in the show's fifth season when Sam Elliott filled in for Peter Lupus in certain episodes. This temporary substitution brought a different flavor to the series, showcasing the ensemble cast adaptability. The European scenes featuring checker cars further added to the show's charm, providing a visual link to the Detroit company's preferred wheels. As the series progressed, the use of rubber masks became a distinctive feature. Interestingly, the wearers of these masks were almost always the protagonists, introducing a clever twist to the narrative. These behind-the-scenes elements, combined with the strategic use of guest stars, contributed to the show's lasting appeal in classic television. A fascinating connection emerged between Mission Impossible and Star Trek the original series. The shared production history at DeZulu Studios paved the way for crossovers with notable actors from Star Trek making appearances. This unique overlap highlighted the seamless bridge between two classics, emphasizing the interconnected nature of the era's television. In conclusion, the 1966 series, with its lasting appeal, smart storytelling, and distinctive elements, remains a captivating and intelligent show in classic television history. The recent DVD release opens a portal for both nostalgic fans and new audiences to explore the world of espionage and Cold War politics, fostering anticipation for the complete series.